What's it going to be then? Are you a beckerhead or a rat? Well, I guess I shouldn't put it that way. Okay, I'm going to throw my two cents in on two of the best knives. Now, when I say best, that's just my humble opinion. Okay, I've been doing this for a while now and just want to share my thoughts. This is my latest edition. I haven't done a video yet on it. Well, I did a previous on the big three. So if you want to know more about co uh, coating stripping, stripping the coats off, refer to my last video, which is being uploaded right now as we speak. This is my Rat 7. Beauty, isn't she? Comes with my Carta handles, scales, I mean, or whatever. Nice, beautiful choil. I love choils. And a raised jimping, which I don't really mind, but it does give you uh, good uh, traction there when you do fine tasks. As you can see, I keep it well oiled. Seven inch blade, about six and seven eighths, I think. Uh, cutting edge from. Uh, the choil cutting edge to the tip and um, and the infamous scales which is slightly thicker than the uh, SC6 models now about that you know, get me started on that SC knives are more expensive than the Ontario Rat. Now the Rat 7 is the precursor to the SE6 model knives. The SE6 comes with uh, a hard sheath. I don't know if it's Kydex or reinforced nylon, but to be honest, Ontario is the real deal. It's it's the precursor to the SEs. And un unless I could tell the difference between uh, rolling heat treat and Ontario heat treat, I wouldn't know. All I know is that Ontario makes a damn good knife. Okay? It's an American made knife made by Americans for Americans. When you buy a Rat 7, you get it for really cheap and it comes with this awesome <laughs> uh molly compatible sheath i noticed they changed the buttons on it. it says uh 1889 on both both uh snaps here but what what's so great about it is that you get a knife already with my card of scales okay and you get a sheath that if you want you could customize it you could go to ebay or through word of mouth, um, get a Kydex sheath made for it. So essentially, basically what I'm saying is when you buy this knife and you want to get a better sheath, which I do, it makes you go into the community to find another sheath maker, a Kydex sheath maker to make your knife poppin'. Okay? That money goes back into the economy. Not with SE. I mean, I don't know about buying an SE and then having to buy a Kydex sheath when it already comes with a good sheath. But you're paying way more. You're paying a 30% difference compared to with Ontario. So that money goes back to the Americans when you go looking for an American Kydex sheath maker. So And I like that, right? So that's my take on it. And it's, it's a great knife. Honestly, if I... Would to use an SE6 and this one and compare the two, the only difference I would notice is the length. The Ontario being the slightly larger knife, but not by much. I would rather, if I were to lose my Rat 7, I would buy another one. I wouldn't buy an SE, and that's just me. On to the BK7. Ah, <sighs> the BK7. Oh, I've been through some really nice, well, not nice, pretty gnarly winters with this knife. 
And uh, I have a Kydex sheet for this one. I haven't got one yet for the Ontario, but I will. Uh, this one is made by Jess, the sheath maker. Awesome guy to deal with. Very nice guy. Uh, a true American. A true patriot. Uh, look for him up on eBay. And uh, you tell him Maurice sent you. Or Reese. Anyway, this is my backer. I stripped the coating. Like I said in the last video. If you don't have a, a machine to uh, get rid of these fine lines and now those lines are there to keep the coating on the knife okay now that these things really don't impact the performance of it i don't know if you can see see it close you can see it when you tilt it you see those lines those lines are really aggressive i had to sand it down with some with i've used about three really coarse <laughs> uh blocks of sandpaper and i finished it off with a uh oh i think what grip was it i think it was a three or four hundred grit i can't remember anyway uh so if you're stripping the coating know that that is another step you're gonna have to take just to, to strip the lines off of it to get it silky smooth right so and of course i fell for the micarta um scales <laughs> and a lot of people are just talking about it so i didn't get the micarta just to um oh because i need it i i, I was more curious i'm like well if it changes the overall feel the knife and then i'll get it but it still feels like my bk7 it just feels like i have different scales really it's is all um i really had no problems with the stock zytel handles uh the, the zytel handles that came with it were weird because they were a little bit they weren't they were slightly they were smooth not slick and um the, it was more i could feel the little textures in it uh and i have a bk9 and but those ones felt more smoother than the ones that came on my bk7 but anyway um so if you get your micarta if you want to get different scales and go with the micarta you know i like micarta anyway on all my knives which is another reason why i got them because i do love micarta but with the rat 7 it comes with micarta they should just remove the zytel and just have them all come stock with micarta stupid now they're charging an arm and a leg for my my Carta scales, and that's ridiculous. You know, I I saw one um uh one seller on Amazon. Okay, I live in Canada, right? So and though just the scales were going for eighty dollars. Can you believe it? Eighty dollars? I could buy, I could buy a brand new knife for that for that much money. But I have a connection where I got I got it for sixty bucks. <laughs> The cheapest I could get them in Canadian dollar, and so I put them on. Now they were about the same color as the micarta scales on my Rat Seven, but for some odd reason, I don't know if it was the sweat in my hands or, or, you know, everything that I was handling when I was using my back my BK Seven for chopping, that uh, somehow the micarta scales absorbed everything. I'm not sure if that's the case or what, but. Some people's micartas just stay that color as compared to mine, which looks like <laughs> they look like wood, <laughs> but I don't mind. So, I mean, it's, I guess it adds character, right? Um, now if you're, uh, into choils, then maybe the BK7 is not the one for you, but, uh, I like this knife so much that... It didn't really affect me because I could just, sh sh you know, shave with without having a choil. It's actually a good knife to wean yourself from the uh, from the annoying habit of always having a choil on a knife, right? Um, stripping the coating, my Carter scales, and the Kydex sheath are about as far as I'm going to go in modding this knife. Now, I, I wouldn't take off the thumb right it doesn't bother me it doesn't 
add anything or take anything away um the thumb ramps i don't mind them um what i will say though is that if you're gonna do all these different mods then why even bother getting a becker once you just get another knife that that has the features that you want instead of getting a knife and just tearing it down and then building it back up it makes no sense to me you know it's just a headache waiting to happen but that's just me right so um the coating on it was good i regret it i regret stripping the coating off because now what happens is every time i hard use a knife when i go to clean it and what and submerge it in water or if i get it wet if it's raining i have to take it apart take the scales off dry off the water that gets in there now if somebody knows a solution for this i was thinking of maybe somehow uh putting like some kind of a wax or something underneath it and then sealing it back up and waterproofing it out but i don't know i'm just thinking out loud so i don't know if anyone knows how to prevent water getting in from that way now i try to leave the coating on to, from the handle to write about well basically where the scales are right and then just stripping everything off but uh the paint stripper that i was using was was fast acting and it really went past the borders of where i wanted it so i had no choice but to completely strip it but um i love this knife uh it's one of my favorites as you can see um so yeah uh of course convex edge on it um it's a nice knife it's a beautiful knife wicked knife good use knife um i don't agree with doing tip tests i think that's stupid right I mean, insanely stupid i mean you could definitely use like like you can make bow drill rivets with it there's no problems it will it will do that but when you do like like test tips and just, just wiggle it from side to side of course it's gonna snap i mean the damn thing is not made out of titanium or some super steel you know it's gonna break you know use what the knife is used for you know i do baton you know if it's raining to build a fire i will baton wood um but it's a cutting tool you know know the limits of your knife and treat it that way but that's my two cents um so when this summer rat seven is going to be the flavor of this year 2020 I've always want. I've always seen this knife. I've seen people swear by it. I used to knock this knife because it looks like a steak knife, but I mean it's simplistic in nature. It's, 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 it's a knife that has a proven track record, and that was a selling point for me. I don't go to websites. I go to YouTube whenever I want to find out about a knife to see if it's good. Because I let other people, I watch other people beat up their knives and. If it impresses me, then I'll buy it. Yeah, and the knives that I do have are the knives that impress me. Now, I have Artac 2s, I have a BK9, I have all these other Ontarios. But um, out of all the knives, I would say that the Rat 7 is my favorite. I mean, I love it. You know, no hot spots. It's beautiful 7-inch blade. Uh, 6 and 7, uh, six and seven eighths cutting distance, or cut cutting edge, I mean. And it's just perfect. I'm not going to remove the coating <laughs> on this knife. No way. <laughs> With this stupid virus or the stupid flu going around, uh, I had to wait a month to get this. So, um, yeah, it's ridiculous. But now that I have finally got it, I'm going to take it out and just use, use it for what it was meant for, cutting. Because it's a cutting tool. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or any uh, um, advice for the BK7, uh, please hit me up. Uh, but don't let any of that discourage you from this knife. This knife is a great knife. It's very light. I love it. And um, these are my favorite beauties right here. And I hope you liked this video. Hit the smash. Don't forget to sub. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.